or first alert weather. All right, I want to make sure you can see what's happening around here. Here's the radar. This is at 445 this morning, just after just before we went on the air. And like we told you, most of the showers are going to be uh, east of the I-15 corridor, and they're continuing to push across the area into the southeastern highlands, uh, down around Incom, into Soda and Lava Hot Springs, and uh, there just to the north of Malad, into Preston, Montpelier, Burn, and you can see a few showers there into the desert between Arco and Chalice. But American Falls this morning getting the snowfall that you asked for. Driggs, Jackson under that winter weather advisory to our east of Idaho Falls. It is 16 degrees in Jackson where it's snowing. It feels like one degree a breeze at 14 miles an hour, and that will make it feel very chilly, probably around uh, one degree <laughs> if you were to step out. Uh, here's what it looks like uh, with temps around the area. 21 in Salmon to 31 for Pocatello. It is 25 in Idaho Falls. 14 mile an hour winds do affect wind chill down to the single digits for some. Feels like it's about 21 in Pocatello, and this is the Viper cast with a wintry mix along the interstate to the south of us in the Magic Valley. Snow showers into eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. This is by 7 a.m., so we'll continue to watch this with that southwesterly flow. Some of it will make the changeover from rain, then the snow keeps blowing, and it will be with us into the afternoon with the second round, the passage of the front, and into the overnight hours where deepening snows will be into the mountain areas and we'll continue to see scattered snow showers uh, through the day Saturday, but things begin to lighten up and we begin to clear out. And I'm going to give you the cumulative totals here as we start the morning. Uh, we've seen a dusting overnight over what is already frozen. It makes it really slick in spots. Be careful and don't take walking across the parking lot for granted because it'll catch you off guard and it will pull your fake hip out like it did mine. Four to eight inches after it's all said and done into Island Park, an inch or more into Idaho Falls and Rigby, a couple of inches into the mountain areas there in the central part of Idaho and a couple of inches there into Jackson by the time Saturday night is done. And it will be about 29 degrees in Afton. It'll be 22 tomorrow morning. So a lot of a lot of closed moisture and insulation for us to begin the weekend there in western Wyoming and 33 for lava. It'll be 25 tomorrow morning afternoon in Ashton at 28. You're on the edge of the winter weather advisory. We cut out a notch there for Dubois, St. Anthony and Rexburg, where it will be closer to freezing from 28 to around 31 overnight lows in the low to mid 20s and 35 in Salmon. It'll be 18 tomorrow morning. Arco, good morning. Thank you for watching us there. Butte City, 33, and then it'll be 18 tomorrow morning. At the site, uh, things will be chilly today. We'll be above freezing. It'll be 34, and then 26 tomorrow morning to start the weekend, and we'll jump from 34 to only 28 in the evening hours tonight in Idaho Falls. 32 in Rigby to 25 tomorrow morning, and upper 30s from Pocatello to American Falls with mid-20s in the morning. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast. The showers begin to dissipate and we'll get toward 40 degrees for Monday. Look at that. Overnight lows will be chilly as we begin Sunday and be right around 30 once we take the shower chances down and uh, restart the system for another shower chance on Tuesday. So we get through these uh, slight shower chances into Friday and Saturday for Pocatello. It will be right there around 34. We'll get closer to 43 on Monday in Blackfoot 37 to 35 and snow around and teens for Sunday morning when we blow things out of here and start over. Then we're going to warm up into Monday, get some drier air around here before another shower chance. It'll be in the mid 30s by Monday in Rexburg once we have a couple of days of these uh, scattered snow showers and teens with colder air Sunday morning before we, you know, semi clear out. It'll still be cloudy around 28. It's snowing in Salmon this morning. It's a live look at the airport. 35 today and 17 tonight. Limited shower chances, but maybe better on Tuesday once we get out of the mid 40s and back down to the mid 30s. You can see the snow blowing there in Jackson. Pretty good day for the resorts. 31. Then 22 tonight will be right around freezing for Saturday and Sunday in Jackson Hole and we'll warm up to the mid 30s by Monday with a 60% chance of snow back below freezing on Tuesday and some uh, really cold air that will blow in there. Hey, here's the question of the day. Are you named after a celebrity? Tell us how you got your name or who you're named after, for whom you